In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a lead magnet and stand so that you can get people to sign up, be part of your ecosystem, and then eventually sell them products and services and make affiliate income. So to get started, we will go to stand, we will log into our accounts, and then we will end up on our home screen on stand. So we will go to my store, which is where all of our products and items live in this list that we have here. We'll scroll down to the bottom and click the blue add product button. So this brings up all of the different product types that we can add to our stand store. So we have actual products and webinars, URLs, all different things. We are going to click on collect emails and applications, and this is where we create a lead magnet. So click on that. And it brings us up to the lead magnet section, which they consider as a product adding to your stand store. So what we'll do first is choose an image. So this image will be next to the little blurb that is encouraging people to give you their name and email and get on your list. So we click choose image. It needs to be a 400 by 400 square image for this thumbnail. So we'll click upload image. We will find the image that we want to use and then click open. Once we have uploaded it, it will show here and then we can crop it if we want to. And when we're done, we can click crop. That will upload the image and then it will show over here in the preview of our lead magnet. So we can see we have our thumbnail photo. Next, we're gonna go down to the text part of this lead magnet. So we can keep this here if we're offering an ebook. If we are offering something else, you definitely want to have some sort of offer for people in exchange for getting their email. So you want to provide value. So you'll have something like a PDF, an ebook, a video, something that you're giving them when they give you their email and attention. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and give away a list of product ideas, digital product ideas, since I am a digital product seller. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, get 400 plus digital product ideas here for the title. So that's what that's gonna say. And then the subtitle is what is right here. And your subtitle is going to be something to encourage them to sign up. So it can say, join my email list, and never miss an update. Or you can add something that says, get this product free thing that's so valuable when you can sign up for my email list. So I'm gonna say get the free list of digital products you can create and sell today. So next we move on to the button text and the button you can see right here in the preview, it says submit and download. So you can keep it as that. So after they enter their name and their email, they click submit and download, or you could change it to download if they are getting something in exchange like a PDF for a download. You could do that or just leave it as it is. It's really whatever you prefer to have as your call to action. This needs to be something that tells them to take an action. So submit and download is fine or whatever you want to add. I'm gonna leave it as that for now. Then we move on to the last step of our lead magnet, which is what info we want to collect from the potential customer. By default, this person is going to give us name over here and email, and that is all they need to sign up with. You can also add other things like phone number. So if you're going to add a SMS text message to your audience, you could require this. So right here, you see the little I, if you click on that, then it adds it over here. If you want to make the phone number required, like the first two, you would just toggle that on. So if you have it on, they have to enter their phone number. If you toggle it off, they no longer have to do that. You can also click add field and add other items. So you could add text, multiple choice, drop down, check boxes, depending on what information you want to either get from them or give them. So you could add text and then you could just add something like address if you wanted to send out items. If you are doing something like that, you can make that required or not. And if you want to remove items, you can click the little trash icon and that just removes it. The phone number one is set and can be removed by clicking the I, which takes that off of the lead magnet area where they sign up. So if you are happy with this, you then click next and that takes you to the area where you actually give them the download that you've promised. Lead magnets do work best when you are giving away something in exchange for their email. So that's why this section is set up. You don't necessarily have to, you could just do a email collection without giving them anything, but this does work better. So you have two options here to either upload the file or to redirect to a URL. So if you've offered maybe say a video, you could send them to a Vimeo or YouTube link here with the product name. So let's say here you're going to send them to YouTube. So you enter your YouTube link here and then you add the product name. So you add the video name here and then they would be able to click on that and just be immediately taken to that URL. 
So that is one option and it is delivered to their inbox after they sign up. So it's very convenient. Or you go to upload file and you upload the file that they can download. So I'm going to do that since I promised a list of ideas in a PDF. So I'm going to click upload and then I will find and then I find the product on my computer and click open and that just uploads the item to Stan so that when they sign up for your email list, they are then given this link to download a file via their inbox. So this is how it works. And when you're happy with what you've selected and what you've uploaded, you then click publish. You can also click save as draft and that will just save it so you can come back later, but we're ready to move to the next step. So let's click publish and then we are ready to go. So by default, your new lead magnet will be at the bottom of your stand store. So you can always drag it up. So if you drag it all the way to the top, you'll see that it is actually up here. So when you look at your stand store over on the right hand side, you'll see that it says your all your info at the top. And then when you scroll down, you see firsthand that lead magnet. So you'll see that it has the title, the little subtitle that we added, the picture, and then the name and email that we want to collect and the button. So we can go to our stand store actually and check and see that this works. So on our stand store, we can see that the lead magnet is up here. I'm going to just enter my name and my email so that I can test this out and make sure it works. That is always a good idea just to make sure that your customer is going to have a good experience. So I've entered my info and I'm going to click submit and download and see what happens. So it says you're in, I'll be in touch with you soon. So we'll have to check our email to make sure that the product was sent to the customer. I have hopped over to my email just to show you what it looks like. So you will get the email as a customer that looks like this. It will have your name from Stan store and then it will have the name of lead magnet at the top and your store name as well. Then in the body of the email, it will have the link to download. So you click on it and then it immediately will download to your computer. So that is how lead magnets work on Stan store. You can add as many as you need so that you can continually add people to your list, sell your products and promote other offers. This is a great way to build up your business and not rely on all of the social media platforms. I highly recommend if you're building a business that you have multiple lead magnets and you're working to continually grow a list outside of social media. I hope this video was helpful and I have a stand store setup guide if you are interested and I have a ton of other free videos on YouTube as well. Definitely watch this one next.